During an election, schools will sometimes ask voters to approve one or more ballot measures. These ballot measures will either be referred to as a levy or a bond. And the difference between the two can often be confusing. One quick way to remember the difference is generally speaking, levies are for learning and bonds are for building. So keep that in mind while we break it down into more detail. What is a levy? A levy is a ballot measure asking voters to agree to a property tax that would collect a set dollar amount for the specific number of years. Levy money is used for operational costs or capital improvements like computers, curriculum, or buses. Local levy bridges the gap between state funding and the true cost of operating a school district. Here are a few examples of what a levy might look like. A maintenance and operation levy that could pay for things like library books, curriculum, extracurricular activities, or provide competitive salaries for teachers. A technology levy that can buy new equipment for classrooms, improve communication systems, and create new learning opportunities with modern tools. A transportation levy that could pay for new buses or major repair on older buses. A transportation levy could also improve the fuel efficiency and help prolong the life of an existing bus fleet. This is not a complete list of options for a school levy. Each district will provide specific details about their levy in the months leading up to the elections. Sometimes, a school district will ask for a replacement levy. This means that the school district is asking voters to replace an existing levy that is scheduled to expire. How is a bond different from a levy? Well, a levy allows a school district to collect a specific dollar amount through taxes for a set number of years. A bond allows a school district to finance the cost of projects through the bond market. When a school district places bond measures before voters, it is asking for the authority to sell municipal bonds and then pay the principal and interest on those bonds using money collected from property taxes. Bond proceeds are used to purchase or construct new buildings renovate or modernize existing buildings, add or upgrade infrastructure systems, and purchase additional equipment. Bonds are used to finance these projects because the payment to the bond investors are usually made over a period of 12 to 20 years, thus spreading the cost of the project over a long period of time, which reduces the annual impact on property taxes. While it takes a simple majority of voters to approve a levy, it takes 60% supermajority to approve a bond measure. Whether it is a bond or a levy, new or replacement, each school district making the request will outline exactly what its ballot measure would pay for if it is approved, and what the estimated tax rate would be for the property owners in that community. You can obtain this information by contacting your local school district office.